Hello? Yeah? You want me to let them know that they might get offended in this video? Okay, sure, yeah, I can do that, no problem. Thank you, thank you, bye-bye. Hi everyone, um, my legal team just contacted me and they've told me that I am legally obliged to let you know that you might be offended by this video. <laughs> so welcome to this video. I wanna talk to you about five sewing trends that I have seen emerging on social media that I'm not sure I am okay with. Right, let's get into it. The first sewing trend is sewing for content. With the rise of TikTok and Reels, I have seen a rise in sewing-centric content, which is amazing. I love seeing people's creations. Creativity. However, my concern with sewing content is that people are sewing in order to post. And I don't feel like the sewing trend in its entirety is intrinsically bad. However, there's threads in the sewing trend that I don't know that I agree with. Here's why. First of all, it feels like fast fashion to me. It feels like create, 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 put out there and it just smells a bit like fast fashion. The other thing that doesn't sit right is that whenever I come into contact with these sewing accounts that post almost every day about a new thing that they're making, it makes me feel pressure to make and post. It makes me feel like I'm not good enough. Like, and what kind of service I am if I'm not making clothes every week? And that's not a good feeling to have on a Tuesday morning. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Let's move on to the second trend, fast sewing. You might have seen on YouTube especially videos like making my dream wardrobe in 48 hours, sewing a summer collection in one day. I made this in three minutes. <laughs> you get the gist, right? I feel like there's a rise in fast sewing and I think it's because it's catchy. You want to see what somebody made in 48 hours. It's good content. However, it's freaking fast, fast sewing. When did sewing become about rushing? When did sewing become about making something in crunch time? I don't like it. I came across this quote, this says if you want to make something that lasts forever why would you rush it i think at the heart of my problem with it is if you're gonna sew something try and make it quality if you're gonna rush it are you focusing on the entertainment or are you narrowing down on the garment that you're making okay so now that i've offended about 10,000 people let's move on to trend number three and it is villainizing ready to wear sometimes i scroll on social media and i see a beautiful post i have made this top i'm so sorry but the jeans are ready to wear and i'm like What's the problem with that? Are we only allowed as sewists to celebrate the clothes that we've made? That puts a lot of pressure. Pressure like a trip, trip, trip that will never stop. Because as a new sewist, you think, oh wow, I can't really talk or post about the clothes that I love, the clothes that I've owned for ages. Now it means I have to discard of these clothes in order to make new clothes so I can post about these clothes. Do you see the problem with that? We need to be careful with how we talk about our clothes on social media so we don't put that pressure on other people. I don't think people are intentionally putting that pressure. I'm just thinking when you see this messaging over and over and over again, you feel that pressure yourself as a sewist. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so now that there's only my mom and my husband watching, let me keep going with trend number four, and that is not owning to our mistakes. You go on social media, you see someone making something really nice, and then it gets to the reveal. You see the outfit, and you see that the boobs are kind of squashed, and then you kind of see that the crotch line is by the knees, and you're like, mm, something didn't go quite right there. But the caption says, perfect. And I'm like, what? 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 No, there's nothing wrong with loving something that is imperfect. Don't get me wrong, most of my makes are very much imperfect, but I find that there's something wrong when we pretend like everything Everything in our sewing journey has gone smoothly. You know what would have been a better caption? I love it so much. This is great. There's some fitting issues that I'm gonna need to tackle, but all in all, I'm very proud of what I've made because that is honest. And I wanna see honest sewing. I want to see people owning up to their mistakes, owning up to their journey, sharing what went well and what didn't. You know why? Because as a person who makes a lot of mistakes when sewing, it can be so isolating when you sit in the corner and you think, dang, I should give up on sewing because I'm the only one who fails so many times. That's an isolating thought. And I am pretty sure I'm not the only one who feels this way. I saw someone share that in the 70s, this researcher wanted to see the comparison between the American school system and the Japanese school system and why it looked like the Japanese students were thriving in school and the Americans were maybe not doing so well. So this guy goes to Japan and sits down and a maths lesson 
lesson. They were learning the shape of a cube and then this little kid puts his hand up and he's like, I just don't know that I'm understanding this. To which the teacher says, come to the blackboard and let's draw the cube together. And whilst the kid was trying to figure it out, the whole classroom was cheering him on. Now what was happening in the American school system is that good kids were invited to draw things on the blackboard while the other kids who were struggling were not invited into that journey. So what I'm trying to get to is that in a sewing community, we should be like the Japanese class. We should embrace our struggles and cheer each other on. Does that make sense? I just have a heart for people, okay? And I want the beginners who are starting out to know that everybody makes mistakes and it's okay to make mistakes and we're here as a community to help each other. Right, we are down to the last trend that I feel like is gonna upset the most people. <laughs> but it's okay, it's just me here on this video. There's nobody else left so I can share. <coughs> okay with everything I've made in a year type of content. You might think, what is wrong with you? Why are you not okay with that? Personally, I have loved watching this type of content because it is so fascinating to see what people have made in a year. I'll put my hand up. It's entertaining. However, I feel like as the years have progressed, uh, it's gotten excessive in terms of people are like dragging across this huge ass rail clothes and then there's just like 365 dresses, 279 tops. 185 jeans, 60 raffle tops, 39 bras, 54 slip dresses, <laughs> and it's like Oh, uh, whoa, that is a lot. That is a lot. And uh, here's what I don't like about it. It smells a bit like fast fashion. It smells like, did you really need all of those clothes? Is that really good for the environment? Like my little minimalistic heart just can't help but think that. I don't like it. Where does it stop? And where do we balance practicing our craft, but then also in a responsible manner? I'm gonna uh, ignore those trends and I'm not gonna watch those videos anymore. Not that I don't wanna celebrate people and their creativity, but because it leaves me feeling a bit empty and it comes dangerously close to the Primark holes or the Zara holes or the Sheen clothes and I just I just don't think that that's what sewing is about for me. Okay, so I'm at the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Oh, I don't know how to end this video because I don't want to leave it on a negative note and it's not my intention to be negative about the sewing community, about sewing, about people. It's just these trends, it's this movement, it's what is emerging, the direction things are going. I'm just not okay with because I want to see intentional sewing being celebrated and I want to see honest sewing where people have the confidence and the authenticity to say, this is doesn't fit me very well but I've loved making it and I'm gonna go back and work on this garment before I start my sew next sewing project and I'm gonna make it better I'd love to see more of that so I guess I'm just calling us to a different thinking and I'm calling us to accountability and I'm calling us to consider our usage of the earth's resources to supply our craft and how responsible we are with that um, I know I need to be more responsible and if you want me to dig deeper into what responsible and ethical sewing looks like because I want to train myself up I might even be able to do more videos so let me know so this is it these are the things that just grade me they're not biggest biggies it's not all like bad and crazy it's just that. I'm not gonna participate in these trends and I'm gonna choose to ignore them and maybe not consume them to protect my own mental health and my self-esteem and to just you know keep myself safe so let me know what you thought of this video let me know if you agree if you disagree I'd love for us to start a conversation I want to reiterate that this is not about people this is not about anyone this is about just stopping and looking at the directions that things are going in and maybe analyzing what's going on where are things headed and what can we do to become more intentional sewist, more authentic sewist, and more responsible sewist? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Sending love. Bye. Let's talk in the comments, okay?